At Tikemi Mine, all mining operations are underground. Tunnels are supported with rock bolts and, where required, with meshing and shotcreting, ensuring that all the mining processes are safe. Drift tunnels are cut and blast holes for stopes are drilled and blasted. Ore is loaded from the stopes and fed to the crusher at the base of the mine. The crushed ore is hoisted to the surface via a 600 meter deep shaft. Open stopes are then backfilled with barren rock and mining continues upwards. At the surface, chromite ore is crushed again and concentrated into upgraded lumpy ore and fine concentrate. In the first stage, upgraded lumpy ore is produced by using heavy medium drum separators. In this process, ore pieces with the higher specific weight are separated from the rest of the ore feed. The next stage is the fine concentrate plant, where the crushed ore is ground smaller in the rod mill and then concentrated by gravity separation. Both upgraded lumpy ore and fine concentrate are transported to the Tornio Ferrochrome Works. Fine concentrate arrives from the chemi mine and is mixed with bentonite and coke dust and fed into the pelletizing drum. Then pellets are fed into the sintering furnace. After sintering, the chromite pellets are ready for use. A dosing system charges the smelter with chromite pellets, quartzite, coke and lumpy concentrate. After smelting in the furnace, the ferrochrome smelt is tapped into a ladle and the slag byproduct removed. The CO gas produced by the smelting process is recycled for use in the ferrochrome works and the rolling mills. The molten ferrochrome then transfers by rail to the adjacent steel melting shop. Molten ferrochrome that is not required by the melting shop is poured into casting ditches where it is cooled and crushed. The solid ferrochrome is then either stored for later use or sold onto the international market. Recycled steel, which can account for up to 90% of the raw material used in Autocompus stainless steel production process, is dried before melting. Molten ferrochrome, which arrives directly from the ferrochrome works, is poured into a ferrochrome converter, where silicon and some of the carbon is removed from the melt. By using molten ferrochrome in the ferrochrome converter, Autocompo achieves significant energy savings and an increase in production capacity. In the steel melting shop, an electric arc furnace is charged with recycled steel and other raw materials, such as nickel, molybdenum, ferrochrome and coke. Once the charge has melted and the slag is removed, the melt is mixed with ferrochrome melt and transferred by ladle to the AOD converter. In the AOD converter, carbon and sulphur are removed and the alloying is made to create the specified stainless steel grade. The melt is poured into a ladle and transferred to the ladle treatment where final adjustments are made before casting. The melt is then transferred to a continuous casting machine, where the steel is cooled and cut into slabs of stainless steel approximately 40 meters long and weighing 20 to 26 tons. Each slab is marked with its own unique customer order code. These slabs are then transferred to the hot rolling mill. The slabs are first transferred to a walking beam furnace, in which the temperature of the steel is raised to more than 1200 degrees Celsius. The slab is then rolled backwards and forwards a number of times through a roughing mill, reducing its thickness and increasing its length and transforming it into a transfer bar. Passing the transfer bar through the Steckgallen tandem mill further reduces its thickness. It is then coiled and moved to a cooling pool. After cooling, most coils continue to a cold rolling plant or are sold as black coils. Some of the coils continue to the bell furnaces to homogenize the microstructure of the steel, after which the coils continue to cold rolling. Mm -hmm. 
coils produced by the hot rolling mill are covered in black scale. In the cold rolling plant, coils are unrolled and passed along an annealing and pickling line, which recovers the mechanical properties of the steel, removes the scale, and changes the steel surface from dull black to silver grey. The acids used in the pickling process are recycled through acid recovery. The coil is then rolled to its desired thickness, which can involve it being reduced by over 80%. In order to recover mechanical properties, the cold rolled steel is annealed and pickled again. After this, it undergoes a polishing treatment in the skin pass mill to improve its surface finish. The stainless steel products are now slightly shiny and have a good flatness. The stainless steel coil then reaches the slitting and cut to length lines, where the steel is finished to the required dimensions, either as coils or as individual sheets. After the cut to length lines, the products are moved by automatic guided vehicle to the automatic packing area. A continuous rolling, annealing and pickling line, known as a wrap line, occupies all three floors of the plant. Steel strip passes through the wrap line twice. On the first pass, black hot rolled coil undergoes annealing and pickling and emerges as white hot band. During the second pass, the material is cold rolled and its thickness is further reduced. The final product is stainless steel cold rolled coil. Most of the recycled steel used in the production of Otokumpo stainless steel arrives by sea. Other raw materials and consumables arrive at the plant also by road and rail. The location of the Kemi mine and stainless steel plant in Tornio allow the usage of smooth and versatile logistic solutions. The port of Tornio is open all year round and both eastern and western rail gauges and the E4 road network are close by. semi-produced stainless steel is shipped to the Ternoisen plant by using a regular vessel connection. Finished products are delivered from Tornio and Ternoisen to customers all over the world, utilizing all available transport methods. <laughs>